This explains the relationship between the pleasure and the temperature. At the constant volume of a fixed mass of a gas. Therefore, the pleasure law states that the pleasure of the fixed mass of a gas is that portion to the absolute temperature at constant volume. Mathematically, the pleasure is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. Removing the proportionality constant, which is that a constant volume as P is equal now to KT. But this constant is what we call it volume. Therefore, this is the equation. But at different conditions, at different conditions, let's say the first condition, P1, is equal now to KT1, means pleasure was P1, while the temperature is P1. Now, making the subject K, we divide by T1, we divide by T1. Therefore, K is equal now to P1 over T1. This is the first equation. What if pleasure is changing and becomes P2? Is equal now to KT2. Means, once you obtain the pleasure, the temperature also begins to change. Therefore, looking for the K, now we divide by T2, we divide by T2. Now this comes out. Therefore, K also will be equal to P2 over T2. But this is the second equation. But simply, simply because, simply because what we are talking about, K is constant. It is a proportionality constant. Means K at the second equation and K at the first equation are like. That is to say, now, equating the equation. By equating, now we say P1 over T1 is equal now to P2 over T2. This is the equation. So, this equation of this formula can be definitely used to find out what is missing. If now you've been given pleasure, one, and the second pressure is absent, you may substitute what is missing and what is available, and then you find what is missing. So, alternative. Now, we say P1 is equal to KT1. And then P2 is equal now to KT2. If now you find the ratio of these two equations, you divide this one. You find it is P1 over P2 is equal now to KT1 over KT2. This will cancel. It is therefore now you are having P1 over P2 is equal now to T1 over T2. This is also the formula that you can use. So you can decide to use this formula or to use this one. Graphical, graphical. Graphically, this can be represented by this one. If now you make plus, maybe here we are talking about pleasure, and here we are talking about temperature. Now, the graph will be equal, will be direct proportion, means straight, like this one. Now, this is the graph. And you may see, if now the temperature was here, the pleasure was here. Once you increase, you become here. Also, you may see plate temperatures increased and also pleasure is increased. So this explains what we call it by pleasure law. Means, as I have said, pleasure is that proportional to the temperature. And also here, it explains from the glass. Now, once you are increasing the pressure, you are increasing the temperature. So this is all about. Now, example, we are having a rigid metal container holding this carbon dioxide gas. 
at a pleasure this one means pleasure one the first pleasure is equal out to two times ten per five per person and at temperature this at temperature at temperature of 30 degrees celsius now you need to convert this one into what we call it in Kevin plus 273. Therefore, this is now 303 Kevin. Now, the pleasure that was recorded at this temperature is what 2 times 10 power 5 pascal. That is how it explains. Now, a rich metal contain, contain a hot carbon dioxide gas at a pleasure of 2 times 10 power 5 pascal. At a temperature of this one. To what temperature must it a gas be lowered for the pleasure to reduce to half of the original pleasure? Now, the original pleasure is this one. Half of the original pleasure. You see, this one divided by 2 is 1 times 10 per 5 pascal. This is the pleasure. Now, if this is the pleasure, at what temperature this pleasure was recorded? Therefore, flow. Pleasure law. You know, P1 over P2 is equal to T1 over T2. Remember, P1 is right here. 2 times 10 power 5 over P2, 1 times 10 power 5. Pass is equal now to T1. T1 is 303 K over. Therefore, it is T2 absent. Therefore, you close multiplication. Therefore, now, this comes out with this one. You are having 303 is equal now to 2 T2. So, we are looking for the something that interesting. Now, we divide by 2, we divide by 2. Therefore, the second temperature will be equal now to 151.5, that is Kelvin. It is Kelvin. But we need to convert this temperature in 2 degrees Celsius. Remember, degree Celsius is equal now to Kelvin minus 273. Therefore, Kelvin is 151.5 minus 273. Kelvin. This we are looking for the degree Celsius. Now you take this one, you will find degree Celsius is equal to 121.5. This is degree Celsius. Now the second temperature will be equal now to negative 121.5 degree Celsius. So the temperature will be reduced to negative 121.5. So as we may record the pleasure of 1 times 10. Uh, 5 pascal. So this pascal was recorded when the temperature is what at this one. Now this is all about pleasure law. Now pleasure law is all about see, pleasure and temperature. But Boyle's law is all about pleasure and volume. And Charles law is all about see, temperature and volume. So there is a different to every law that we've been discussing. And that is why for the first time I told you, the pleasure, I mean, the, we are discussing about pleasure, temperature, and volume. But there are a lot that may discuss about these three factors. But to discuss about these three factors, one of them is the heritage constant, while the other two are varying. And that is why we are seeing, we are talking about pleasure and temperature, that is what about pleasure law. And temperature and volume, that is all about chance law. But pleasure and volume, that is all about volume.